So welcome back and um, with all this with the blueprints being uploaded or being not being able to upload decided to do a bit of a speed build on our uh, server here so um, it's a nice little station down there as well I wonder whose that is but anyway yeah I decided to build a repair ship because I hadn't actually used the repair beams in anything bigger than a shuttle so I thought hey let's make a ship that we can repair capitals with and the idea was much like um, a scanner or something you know I thought I'll build a little bank much like the planet harvester that I made and then um, and then yeah just sort of uh, uh, put the put the uh, capital in front and tell him to slowly roll and that should cover it basically while you're firing but um, of course while I was doing that I thought yeah but what happens if I want to repair something smaller so I decided to make this little uh, hanger here with a side loading repair beam um, it's you know with the speed builds often you end up undoing a lot of the stuff that you do <clears throat> I'm kind of just going with the flow I've got a rough plan so I do know roughly what I'm gonna do but it's not like you know detailed drawing or anything it's just a sketch <clears throat> and the idea is to make a little bay for mechs and fighters to go into down a little runway so they can fly in and then spin and there's a side there will be a side mounted repair beam array behind that wall um, I had the idea of building like these sort of uh, little cranes that slide overhead but then I realized that um, that might actually get in the way of ships trying to get in there so I had to change that idea but here I am messing with the side loader I think this time I'm like yeah yeah I think I've already fixed that yeah so so obviously it's um it's a waffle with power tanks in the middle and um, I'm basically just gonna make this make this counter waffle that's what I like calling it because it's like a checkerboard with an inverted checkerboard behind it um, I think I'm gonna give it a test and it works so there we go I can continue <laughs> and uh, they're three long that's all because I figure <clears throat> it's only gonna be repairing small ships so it doesn't need to be um, you know it doesn't need to be a quick repair or anything and yeah I just pretty much <clears throat> go ahead building this array out it's funny I worked out if you've actually got the remove mode on you can right click to delete so I've started doing that now I've started just leaving it in remove mode so that uh, if I mess up I can just right click the stack and uh, replace it without having to go and click the button and click it again but um, <clears throat> yeah the idea of putting tanks in between was I don't know I could have put shields in there I guess <clears throat> I've since found out that tanks actually give a hell of a lot more storage if you connect them all so um, kind of messed up a little bit by making all these little groups because I'll obviously lose out on efficiency by not having them all part of one group but that could be easily fixed by simply running a wall of power tanks down each side of the array and then obviously all the tanks would connect and the beams would still fire through so I might do that I did pause every now and then just to go and look at stuff that people were parked parking around here a lot of people collected while I was building this because instead of doing it in single player I did it on the server um, where I usually do the lineup reviews and uh, this little array is coming on quite nicely actually nearly done oh messed up there we go and put the tanks in <laughs> find this incredibly fiddly because if you mess it up you gotta like redo it <laughs> so off we go reminds me a lot of when I did the hailstorm this little bit having to and the planet salvager as well just like moving a little bit chucking it down the end in advanced build could really do with a toggle on advanced build mode as well because I was holding the advanced I was holding that left control button for so long you get kind of cramped so I was thinking maybe if we could have a toggle for the left control maybe that would be a little bit nicer to everyone um, just as an option you know um, but yeah 
I definitely use it because I spend a lot of time in advanced build mode. Um, just like, you know, if, if you're a builder, I expect you probably do too. So, fix for symmetry. And I'll start putting in the yellow lines because I wanted to signify that this was like, you know, a working area somehow. I think I messed it up a few times, but in the end I put the yellow down, took out the red, and then just did one big black. Oh no, I messed it up, yeah. <laughs> I hate it when you do that. You'd select an area to fill, and then you selected the wrong color, and it just messes it up. You've got to do it again. <laughs> That's pilot error, that is. So. But yeah, just um, continuing with the outline for this little hangar bay. The idea, like I say, was just to make it look a little bit more industrial than my usual hangers. I'm still not 100% finished at this point, obviously. Um, but as you can see, this is what I'm, what I'm going for. So we've got exposed an exposed array at the back and um, a repair, little repair bay at the front. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a back plate in for the main array. I think that'll do. So I stuck a computer on and now I can get on with this. So here we go again. Only these ones are a lot longer. I think these were 10 long. Um, and I know that you can, you know, you can check, you can have them longer. But to be honest, I just wanted a little array just so I could, just so I could finish the ship really. I was just so dying to build something because I've just been doing hundreds of reviews. And I love doing reviews, but I don't get to build anything. And I had a massive builder's itch at this point. So I thought to myself, hey, I'm going to build something I haven't built yet. I'll build a big, not a capital, but I reckon like a cruiser size um, repair ship. I'm planning on doing builds on all of them. You know, like I'm going to do one speed build for every video now. Uh, uh, for every video, for every weapon in the game or utility um, and as they come out I'll bring out a new one I've also got a new ship called the Swiss Army Knife planned it's um, I'm gonna start building it later today basically it's uh, got everything in the game on it very simple just so I can load into the test build and check everything with one ship so that's the idea anyway well not everything but most things you can check with one ship if you have everything fitted there so there's that um, Aside from that, I'm just putting shields. I decided to put shields in the forward array because it was bigger. And I thought, well, you know, shields are good. Stick them in there. As it turned out, there wasn't really much volume to play with. So uh, uh, it didn't actually work out to be worth, you know, it wasn't worth doing really. You, know, you could get a lot more volume elsewhere on the ship. But I guess it's mass here that isn't elsewhere. So it cuts down on the size. Um, and yeah, so nearly done with this shields, and then I got to do the uh, the counter checkerboard in front of it. Oh yeah, make sure you save your blueprints to local, <coughs> and off we go for another repair array. Ten long again, so you got a nice, um, you know, even performance across the array, and. Here we go. I tried to do as much of it in full screen as I could, but when things go wrong, I think at this point, I think I'd figured out the right click. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, I was seriously on one. I needed to build. Um, this is sped up 800 times, but I was still going pretty quick. Because you can see when I mess up <laughs> and run out of stuff. <laughs> right. Okay, and here comes the long bit. This is the bit that's the most tedious for me, is putting in all these fills. I mean, I've, it's gotten to the point now where I tend to just leave it. In fact, I think I did. In the end, I just left it. And this is a trick I picked up from RIP, one of our admins on Mushroom Fleet. Um, he did it with a salvager ship. What I've done is I've unlinked the computer and uh, then put in repair beams across the holes. So even though they don't work, it just looks like a nice big solid array pattern, which is kind of more attractive to look at. Uh, now I'm going to build in my stairs. I want to build in a mushroom staircase for like, um, 
you know, for gravity. So this is just a framework, and I'll come back to this in a later, uh, a later stage. And then I'm messing around with struts that are going to form the feet and the holders for the turrets once they're done. So uh, I'd like to keep moving around it a little bit so you don't spend too much time on the same area because it can get a bit stagnant if you're just working on one bit of your ship the whole time. Sometimes I like to work on multiple ships, you know, just keep things fresh. So I'm building a kind of little airlock here. Trying to build that out there. Tried to make it as much like the um, forward one as I could, but you know. And now I'm going to make the what is going to be the framework for the visible reactors on the ship because I decided to make some visible reactors in the engineering room, um, even though they're not actually built yet. But that's just like a little little iron framework or something. And then built little walkways around them. I raised the holes. Let's see. Yeah, just messing around with block here, block there. Take the symmetry off, get rid of that. <laughs> uh, build a little bit in the middle here, just for giggles. I think people wanted me to look at their stuff again. <clears throat> so I did. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Oh yeah, carrying on with the rear. So this is going to be the first thruster. So the thruster goes on and it's pretty large. I decided to make it just one big block or two blocks and connect them. Um, but at this point I've just made two big blocks of thrusters. Ah, there we go, connected, sweet. And then I'm gonna make box reactors around the thrusters and see how much power I got. There we go, and then all I gotta do is go around the ship, because <laughs> it may as well. So go around the ship with the reactors. Um, and yeah, basically, we're sort of getting to a point where the reactors are nearly all connected now. I had a bit of a problem with that. I should have made it a square shape and then it would have been easier to do, but you know, hindsight. Um, here I'm just tweaking the reactors to get the most recharge out of them by removing the correct corner blocks. And that took a bit of tweaking, but <laughs> I did get it in the end. I think I might have kept going back and tweaking it because I wasn't happy with it. I was like, hang on, I'm still getting more. And in the end I got it. It's because I had symmetry on, so it was kind of being a bit weird, but it works. I think I did actually ask someone over to just double check it for me because I thought I was going mad. Right, so. Do you know what? I should put breaks in these videos so people don't have to watch them entirely. It's just like, <laughs> I'm watching this now and I'm like, what? So much is happening. Okay. Oh yeah, they wanted me to go and check out their station. So I come over. Done a little test. Whoops. Smashed that ship a little bit there. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Let's do a little test fire. Yup. Someone shot the planet with a rocket to remodel it or something. So I've just repaired all the blocks. Done. I think I did have to turn the ship around, mind. But that's pretty much it, you know. If a big ship sits in front there and like rotates, it should not be a problem. So yeah, let's just repair that back wall. <laughs> it does lag a lot. So I'll probably be tuning this. <laughs> but I didn't notice the lag myself. It was just everyone else. <laughs> so 
Uh, I think I'm going to carry on with the build. Um, check the side loader. Yeah, that's right. I got someone to come in and fly into the bay so I can actually check the side loader. And there it is working. Nice. So, yeah, fly in there and rotate your ship. And it will repair all the little nooks and crannies. So that's, that's the way it works, you know, I just wanted to demonstrate that real quick. And I think I'll just do a few more finishing touches before the end of this part. There's three parts to this speed build so far, and I still haven't finished it yet, so uh, it's turning out to be a lot bigger than I had initially thought it would be. But, you know, it's going to be a big ship, so I haven't built out anything for ages, so I just sort of let it rip. So, starting to build in the floor of what you could call the bridge and the cargo rooms. Plan was to connect the cargo rooms to the repair bay and engineering via corridors that are outside the ship. A bit like I saw in someone else's video recently, to have some exterior corridors, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. Um, but I'm also going to have an open air courtyard, which is something which I haven't done before. Made a lot of tweaks to the back end as well, but. Uh, that's all coming up in the next one. So here we are. Decided to go with white floors and walls because it gives you a bit of natural lighting. Um, just trying to make these mushroom shaped doors, but uh, it's, it's going okay, but still not completely decided on the design for stuff like doors and things at this point. I tried making a sort of uh, aircraft control tower um, style bridge but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's really worked. You'll have to tell me if that's worked when I've finished. Um, started making these funny shaped corridors. I think I've actually improved that, so I have to go back and change them now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, these are accessing from the command tower down to the storage areas and the access corridors, side corridors. I just put a bit of temporary lighting in there so I could see what I was doing. And I think we're nearly done. So, thanks for watching, first of all, because this has been a long video. Um, I think this might actually be a bit too fast, but it's the same speed as the last speed build video I did. So, unless I've just been excessively jerky, let me know.